Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough, Cascade Kingdom, let's go, skip as much of the loading as possible, <laughs> well I mean uh, cutscenes as possible I should say, and here we are, shop as usual is right next to the beginning so might as well do just flip flop over there really quick, sure why not. And <laughs> oh! Fantastic. <laughs> and there's Luigi, but hold on, hold on, no, 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 not, not yet. Don't get excited, Luigi. Alright, ooh, new stock, yes, yes. How about a little bit of Waluigi today? Sure. Okay, I'm trying to actually save up for the, the big ones, like... <laughs> <laughs> that basically, but anyway. Yes. And yes. Alright. <sighs> okay, I... This is one of the few times that I don't look that much like the character this clothing is representing. Because Waluigi is really tall, really thin, anyway. <laughs> Hey, have I seen that outfit somewhere before? Okay, it's the same dialogue. Anyway, looking good, bro! Alright, collect... Connect the... And you're not this down this time, though. <laughs> Alright, so this time... We're gonna start by hiding it. Right off the bat. And we start way at the top of the world. 30 seconds to hide the balloon. Find the best spot you can. And we're hiding it at night. I it will begin when you leave the starting area. There's not really that many hard to access places in here, I don't think. I mean, it's all very, very... I, I guess you could say walkable. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's that you jump from place to place. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, let's see here. How about I try somewhere down that away somewhere? Go! Actually, oh shoot, that's actually not very efficient. Maybe I'll hide it behind the T-Rex. <laughs> oh shoot, T-Rex, you don't mind if I put a balloon back here, do you? I don't. Okay, well, yeah, I'll put that there. Yeah, that, I don't think that's that good. <laughs> actually, I don't think any of the, the spots are super hard to access or anything like that. Although, I could be wrong as we get into this. <laughs> like... It, what, it, why is this one at 260, for instance? Now, let's start with something. Relatively easy, I suppose. Okie dokie. Or at least it sounds like it'll be relatively easy. So it's a down that away. That is... Well, we're gonna find out. <laughs> it is, it is... Oh, it's probably underneath where that pipe is. Or, or not. <laughs> I thought, was, I thought that was like the direction where that pipe was hidden underneath the mountainside or something like that, and it was like super quick to get to. Eh, okay. What's up next? Wait, did I pop that? Wait, yeah, wait uh, I think. Uh, hmm. I guess maybe I did. Let's try mid range. Let's go. Woo! Got straight out. Uh, this one's gotta be sneakily below the world. Probably. At the very least, I can jump off the edge and half jump back to the area. I think. I think. In any case, let's go! Yeah, it's directly above, I mean, directly below here somewhere. I probably go like me. Oh, 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 yes! Just as I expected. <laughs> but you mustn't, you're in the middle of a game. Yeah, because you can't go down the pipes. That's what I thought. That's what I thought back at the uh, uh, Mushroom Kingdom. Which, yeah, there's never anything hidden down those places. With those like the pipe underwater and whatnot, and holy moly! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I wonder if we can make it to 9,999 this part and buy the skeleton outfit to then collect more coins to boot. 
Oh, you. Oh, I, I didn't notice this before. You can actually see the arrow before you even start. Let's go. Well, it's ten seconds, so maybe it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Ready, steady. One, two, three. Euro. No, it's not. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for the, for the congrats on that incredibly difficult challenge. No, I guess that wasn't the idea of it. Just a little quick one to grab. And... Uh, hmm. That looks more complicated than others. Oh, there's a 335 reward for that one down below. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm also, I'm thinking that if I'm going to have great difficulties with one along the way or something like that, like I had with that one, maybe I should just skip it. <laughs> just for the sake of video time. I mean, it's not like these balloons are permanent or anything like that. I'm just, I, I get too caught up sometimes. Let's go! Uh, well, actually, uh, well, oh, that's even further out then. Uh, well, it's pointing this way. Fantastic. It's pointing this way. Uh... Oh, you want me to get the T-Rex, don't you? Oh, no. <laughs> I see why there's such a long time limit for that one now. Yeah, wait, can I just restart that? Yeah. <laughs> Need 25 coins to try again. Okay. So we got ourselves a little round the world trip. Okay, so the T-Rex was like, uh, it was down over this, yeah, that was where I was before, right, 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 right. Oh, I gotta face the right direction here to make sure I'm, <laughs> make sure I'm jumping off the right ledge here, and go, let's see if I can actually, I was gonna say, long jump and then half jump up here, but actually I'll just do it like this. But Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, T-Rex! Yes! Oh, the clock stops when we're... <laughs> Go! The only way around that way was to... Oh, no, 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 no. I know the controls are clunky, but you gotta turn a little quicker here. <laughs> Remember, coins give you the a little bit of extra time here, so... Alright, we've made it to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 that's... I'm stuck! Oh, jeez! <laughs> that was my own fault. Because, yeah, I, I knew that ledge was down there, but I was like, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 I can't go down there, no! Nope, I slipped. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go again. Which, it was, was like... I don't know, just so... Hard to visualize where that T-Rex is oh, from the start here. No, that's complete opposite direction, right? Kind of. <laughs> it's no wait. Well, actually, uh, mm, I could get away with that. <laughs> it's more like yeah. It's actually more like straight out that way. So maybe I should just go meow, meow. Ooh, oh, mm, oh, ha! I like. Oh wait, oh shoot! That actually wasn't quite right. <laughs> oh no, that was. Uh, you know what? I might as well just. <laughs> what was I thinking with that? <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. All right. I'm just bringing up the bounty. Yeah, it was more like that. Di that direction. Did I actually see that? Yeah, it's. Yeah, it is down that. Okay, so it wasn't. Hmm. I guess I wasn't thinking it was the right. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna try this this time. My extra long jump strategy. Nah, not quite. Uh, this is relatively forgiving anyway. Just as long as you don't go in a horrendously wrong direction. <laughs> and this time I'm gonna jump off the ledge on the left side instead of the right side. Go, T Rex, go! Yeah! And I also got a little bit more extra time to boot. By not getting caught up on the eh. <laughs> not getting caught up on stuff. All right, and easy peasy. You see, it's kind of you see the star down there. 
by its right foot. I think it's its right foot at that angle. One, three, four, yes! But you did successfully break my streak. <laughs> Uh, do I dare try the 335? Wow, there's a bunch of 335. Should I try one? <laughs> hmm. That is down this way. Is that the one? Is that the one by the pipe again? Or oh no, that's the waterfall area. Where the poop is that hidden? Could be uh, like oh, we're gonna find out. Oh, wait a second. Is this? Oh, no, it's not. I was gonna say, is this the... Oh, maybe it is. Uh, where... Huh? Is it in here again? So is it like, grab the T-Rex as fast as possible and then... get down there as fast as possible? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure I can pull that off. <laughs> hmm. I mean, like, I don't... Like, the T-Rex is so slow, com well... Well, I mean, well, it is, yeah, it is faster than Mario on foot, but I mean that Mario is king of just flying over and jumping over everything, but the T-Rex has got to take the long way around. Uh... Hmm... Now, let's see, I guess. Ha! <laughs> ho! Well, that's certainly... A, yeah, but see, that that's not even going to come close to that anyway. Unless I'm supposed to, like, get over to that a different way. Like, is it possible to get across this bridge with the T-Rex? Because like, I thought I got stuck on there before when I... <gasps> you can get it across! Oh! Okay. Well, that changes a, a bit here. <laughs> hmm... Hmm. I guess I'll give it one more go to see if I can figure out the route. Because I thought there was, like, like, platforms I could long jump across to get to the T-Rex. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, something like this. I don't know. Uh, I don't think this is any quicker. <laughs> In all honesty. Oh, not if I do that, especially. But yeah, I, I I don't know how to do it then. So I think this is going to be one I'll skip for now, unless I can think about it later. And it's still up for access. But yeah, that was especially slower. <laughs> hmm, wonder how the poop that was done. So I guess there are some balloons that are more mysterious than others in here. Seven seconds? Uh... It's probably got to be something incredibly intense. Probably. Probably just like jump down and land on it. <laughs> uh, straight down. Uh, what was that? Uh, it's like I fell past it, as you've seen by the uh, the meters there. Can't even see. <laughs> Is it? Uh, oh, it's got to be underneath the, on those little platforms. By the, uh, uh, where those hats, uh, l the hat platforms were. Yeah, somewhere around there, I would say. Let's try jumping down. Oh, I was gonna say jumping down between the skeleton. Uh, still mystified. I was like, where did poop? <laughs> uh, I guess that's the. Oh, I. Oh, it's on the inner inner bone of the skeleton. Okay. I didn't even know you could stand on that to, to place a balloon. Okay, so it's like you got one shot to jump down to it. <laughs> anyway. Alright, let's see here. Woo! Yeah, because it's like somewhere on this bone. Yeah! That's how it's done. <laughs> So then, our reward gets boosted, well, the coins we lost get, get basically taken back to us, unless we lose a bunch of coins like on that one on Last Kingdom. <laughs> um, let's see here, let's try another mid-range one or something. Uh, well, actually, you know, any of these that have uh, low amounts of coins for the reward, that might not actually mean much. 
because they could be in a really difficult position and people just gave up on them really quickly or something like that. Anyway, so this will be maybe the last one, probably. Let's go. Uh, is that? Oh, that's got to be off the edge of the... Oh, okay. I was going to say it's off the edge of the, the cliff, but no, it's not, not that far meter-wise. <laughs> Ezra, bro, yes, two in a row, yeah! And someone got my balloon, and I did not make it to 9,999 this part, oh, yeah. but that is okay. <laughs> wow. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, wait, what, really? Hmm, I didn't know about that. Ah, uh, well, wait, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> we can have a, we can continue our streak later, maybe, maybe. What I'm looking for here now is the brochure. Escape Kingdom, land of waterfalls and natural treasures. Also falls, the last hold down of history. Population unknown. <laughs> I guess you could say that. There's a Captain Toe that pops in every so often, maybe a shopkeeper, so size is quite tall indeed, I would have to say. Locals? Oh no. <laughs> like, maybe they're more of those little spiky dudes. Currency, stone discs. <laughs> the wheel in the street, unknown. Temperature? Yeah, that's that's nude weather right there. A dr tall drink of water. See the rainbow? Is it a double rainbow though? No, just one. There are many waterfalls in the Cascade Kingdom, but the area known as Fossil Falls is a special one. There are few sights in nature as grand as the millions of gallons of water pouring every second out of this giant Triceratop skeleton. I don't even know how that works actually, because it's like floating in the air, it's got to run out of water eventually you would think. Actually very quickly. Natural patterns. The fossil! If you look closely at the stone walls, you'll notice fossils mixed in. Think of it as nature's mosaic, and remember it always. <laughs> like a huge axe planted in the ground. <laughs> That's the starting location where he broke that thing with the uh, uh, the chomp. And also, um, I just noticed there's little moon block pieces attached to it. Nature in balance, a stone spire standing near the Great Fall has miraculously rain, remained balanced upright in this position. Presumably for eons, not anymore! <laughs> of particular interest are the cubes of unknown material embedded in the stone. These cubes are the reason for the common theory that the spire somehow fell from the sky. While this theory is difficult to prove, it is equally hard to doubt when looking at this miraculous stone structure. And... The ancient wall of 8-bits. No ordinary cliff face. This structure is carved out, out painstakingly over many long years by people unknown. The wall is composed mainly of fossils, and evidence suggests it has been broken many times, causing some to suggest that something is buried inside. When there is someone who hits blocks, visitors are encouraged to explore the mysterious surrounding I mean mysteries surrounding the Great Barrier. If they dis if they dare. What secrets hide within the barrier? Hey, there's no pipe here. <laughs> hmm, how do people explore the insides of that then? The prehistoric tyrants! The biggest draw for tourists to this area is that dinosaurs still live here. Many people willingly put themselves at considerable risk for a glimpse of the ancient, terrible lizards. <laughs> <laughs> the T-Rex, most terrible of all dinosaurs, can pulverize a boulder with a single blow, like Superman. On the other hand, most people don't realize how much time they're spending nappy. <laughs> <laughs> they do spend a lot of time sleeping. Researchers believe the specimen is female. Oh ho, oh ho. And now I knew, I mean now I know something I didn't before. <laughs> I think I always called it a guy or something like that. An odd old structure. Well, actually, maybe I did know that because I'm, I'm sure I went through these brochures before, but I just forgot. No one knows how a bonneton style structure got buried here. Monitors travel often, so they may have lived here in the past. It is a helpful landmark if you get lost, though. <laughs> old, but not as ancient as its surroundings. Hmm, I suppose. I mean, it is... Well... A little bit rusty before we got to it, but now they're gonna have to update the brochure because this one's gone. 
Just like, the, just like the spire on the other side. The keys to the kingdom. Experience the glory of nature with the eye-popping great falls. See dinosaurs, prehistoric rulers of a bygone age. Find treasures of the past tucked away everywhere you look. This is made by the crazy cap shop. You must spend 1,000 coins to get this brochure. What? what, what why is this so expensive? I don't know, but anyway, it looks like this place is now happily cleared out. Ish. I mean, there, there could always be new secrets to find or something like that. This is Super Mario Odyssey, so maybe I'll, I don't know, if I find something later, I'll pop back here. I don't know, I don't know, but for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. We head on over to the Sand Kingdom.